Why has every attempt at teleportation ended in failure? Sounds simple enough, right? One second you're here, the next, poof, you're somewhere else. But to see why it doesn't actually work, we first have to understand what we're really asking for when we say teleportation. Teleportation isn't just about moving through space. It demands that space and time itself have to bend. Because in order to teleport something, whether it's an object or a living body, you're not merely shifting it, you're erasing it in one spot and reconstructing it in another. Take a chair, for example. To teleport it, you'd need to scan every single atom, billions upon billions of them, then send that data somewhere else and rebuild the chair piece by piece, atom by atom, perfectly. That's already beyond impossible with today's technology. Now imagine doing this with a human being. 10 octillion atoms, every single cell, every neuron, even the exact position of electrons firing in your brain. Miss even one microscopic detail, and whatever shows up on the other end isn't you. That's why physicists warn us, teleportation isn't just a technical hurdle, it's also a philosophical one. If the original you is destroyed, and a perfect copy is built somewhere else, is that still really you? Or just a clone that only thinks it's you? Now here's the twist. Scientists have managed teleportation, but only at the quantum scale. They can transfer the state of a particle, its quantum information, instantly to another particle far away. But that's less like beam me up Scotty, and more like copy and paste. It's just information, not matter, not people, not spaceships. So why has every larger attempt failed? Because to teleport an object or a person, we'd need to control reality itself at the tiniest possible scale and then rebuild it flawlessly at the other end. Until that day comes, teleportation will stay exactly where it began, in science fiction and in our imagination.